Hey guys, if you're trying to play, render or export a video in Premiere Pro and the application is just not using the GPU acceleration function then don't worry as in this video I'm going to share with you a few steps that you can take to fix the issue. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to make sure that we are using the correct graphics settings. Now I'm on a Windows computer so the instructions may change slightly if you're on a Mac but for the most part it should be the same. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press the Windows key on your computer and we want to come over to the settings tab. Now from the left hand panel we want to click on system and then click display. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down to come to the related settings tab and just click graphics. Now from this list here we want to select Adobe Premiere Pro. If you can't find it from the list then you can just search using this tab here. Once we found Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to click on the icon and come over to options. And now from this window, we just want to make sure that high performance is selected. And now once you've selected that, we just want to save our settings and come back over to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, before we give it a go, we just want to make sure that hardware acceleration is actually enabled. So to do that, you simply come over to file and then find project settings and then over to the general tab. Now from here under video rendering and playback you just want to make sure the renderer is set to Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration and then just select that and then we can just hit OK to save our changes. Now just following these two steps alone should have fixed the majority of errors. However if you still are facing issues then we have a couple more steps that you will need to follow. So if we come over to edit and preferences and then we want to select the memory tab. Now what we want to do on this screen is we want to make sure that the RAM reserved for other applications is set to as low as possible. So I've got mine here set to 3 gigabytes, which means I have RAM available for Adobe Premiere is 20 gigabytes. All it basically means that any other background applications that are running may run slightly slower when using Adobe Premiere, but it will just ensure that Adobe Premiere has the maximum resources available for it. And once we've finished here, we can just click OK. And now if this still doesn't work, the last and final solution is to make sure that we have the latest graphics driver installed on our computers. So in order to do this, we first need to find out what type of graphics card we actually have installed. So if you come over to the Windows Start menu and just search for Device Manager, and then from here we want to come over to Display Adapters, and if you just right click on your graphics card and hit Properties. Now if we come over to the Driver tab, this information here will tell us what graphics card we're using and the latest version that we currently have installed. So as you can see here, I've currently got installed this number. And now all we would need to do is go over to the manufacturer website. In my case, it's NVIDIA. And we just want to make sure that we have the latest version installed. If you do require an update, you just need to download it from their official website. And once you've got the most up-to-date version available, you can hit OK and come back to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this should have solved all of your issues, but if you still are experiencing problems, then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.